hello and this is my spring forecast for 2021 this is the uh first update on this spring hopefully i am going to do another one before spring this is as of thursday february 4th so we are going to take this overall look at spring from west to east so uh if you look in the west you can see a region that is very hot and dry we are going to see very steamy conditions it will we will have low humidity very little systems unfortunately it could be windy too so this could fuel the wildfires unfortunately then we have the flip-flop region in the yellow it is going to go back and forth pretty typical spring weather where one day it's super cold and it is wet and cold then the next day it's warm and dry. Uh, then we are going to go a little bit more east. This green region is also uh, farther east. This is going. This uh, green region is in the central U.S. and it is going to have very wet conditions. A few thunder showers as these systems start to form. Then in the red region, you can see some severe weather. Uh, it will be a late but active start to the season. It will be active but it will start late, like mid-April, because though typically we'll see it start in March. And then even more east, as the uh, systems dissipate over the coast or move out, you guys are going to see wet conditions, maybe a few thunder showers, so weak thunderstorms that you can't really see the lightning with very much. It's cloudy and then there's a light drizzle. Uh, thunder showers are very possible in that region, then severe weather, a little bit more west, like tornadoes, uh, damaging winds, hail. We could be seeing even some flooding this year. How much severe weather are you going to be seeing? Uh, well, as you can tell from my overall map, there is going to be severe weather, even out of this region that I'm showing. Um, I'm not saying that any particular region will or will not see severe weather. Uh, a lot of places might see severe weather that are not highlighted. This, this is the most active region, the area of interest, the uh, area of focus. So um, I'm not saying that you won't see any severe weather, um, but this is the area where there's the biggest focus. As you can see in areas like Missouri, up through Illinois, Wisconsin, and even over to Pittsburgh, it just surrounds this moderate and high region. Well, you guys are going to be seeing a slight risk of severe weather. Then in the moderate in Ohio, Indiana, West Virginia, basically the Ohio Valley will be seeing a moderate risk. But then if you go down towards Tennessee, um, Alabama, and Georgia, you guys are going to be seeing a high risk. You guys are going to be, that's going to be where you're going to see the highest risk. Here is our temperature forecast, and in much of the Northeast, we are going to be seeing below average temperatures, well below average in Michigan, Wisconsin, and even some of Minnesota. Uh, then we are going to be seeing moderately below average in the Ohio Valley, stretching up north, uh, northwest, and then a little bit southeast in the uh, West Virginia. And then we are going to be looking at slightly uh, below average temperatures all around that. And then we have an above average region in the southwest, which is going to be seeing very hot conditions and it goes up to moderately above average temperatures this spring. Here is our precipitation outlook. We're going to be seeing well, um, well above average precipitation in the area where there's uh, severe weather. So you know Tennessee, Mississippi, uh, I mean Alabama and Georgia. Then we go to uh, moderately above average precipitation in the Midwest and Ohio Valley. So both of those will be noticeable. Moderately and higher, you highly above or below average is usually quite noticeable. Slightly, you can barely notice it. In the slightly region, we have it uh, all around that in the eastern half in the USA. 
then in the southwest, we have a slightly below average precipitation region, which is going to, uh, is going to be a very dry pattern down there this spring. So it's looking to be a pretty tough wildfire season. So please be prepared.